Okay, it has been a while since I've done a video, and last night I was like, I really need to do one. <sighs> I keep getting email freaking notifications. So, I am going to do this new, I well, it's not new, it's like an eyeliner hack, if you have hooded eyelids, which I have, and it's like, to make it so your wing actually looks decent instead of like disappearing, you know what I'm talking about? So, all right. First off, I need to clip my hair back. I'm also trying a new lighting setting, kind of more of like a natural lighting, instead of like that super bright fluorescent light that usually washes you out. You know, the type that they have in like Sephora and whatnot. So, first I'm gonna prime the face. And I was thinking about not even filming this part, but I do have a new powder combination that I use that I want to record because I actually really like it. Okay. We got the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Super love it. Still. Okay. Let's see what we got. Where's my foundation? Okay. We got the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Blanc. Put that on there. Usually do a cross forehead right here. And I've been trying not to put foundation like underneath my eyes because I saw this video on YouTube, not YouTube, um, Instagram, where I think it was Kiss Makeup posted this hack that said if you don't put foundation underneath your eyes before you put concealer on, then your concealer won't crease. And I was like, OMG, I need to try that. Lo and behold, it works. I'm using the Dior Forever foundation in the shade Zero N, which is still too dark for me, but I mix it with this foundation, so it comes out to a nice shade. Sometimes it's still a little dark for me, but I just take my bronzer and blend it down my neck. So nobody has to know. And I just blend it in with the bottom of a beauty blender. And I'm staying away from my under eye so I don't crease because the one thing that I always do is take the foundation and go over my eye and underneath my eye, which is kind of a hard habit to break, but I'm not doing it right now. Ever since I found out that hack, I was like, cool, now I don't do it anymore. The sound of your beauty blender, like, hitting your skin is... I can't tell if it's a gross sound or not. Okay. Cool. We got that going. Alright. And then, I'm getting my concealer. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer in the shade 320 Porcelain. I love this concealer. It is amazing. I actually think it's better than Tarte Shape Tape. A lot of people have said, have said, the first day with my new tongue, sorry, have said that this concealer is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, but I honestly think this one's way better. Tarte Shape Tape can be a little too much for me. And I just blend it out and then I also carry it over my eyelid since I didn't put the foundation on my eyelid and I also use my concealer as an eyeshadow primer and it also covers up like those veins in my eyelids which is not a big deal seeing the veins in your eyelids it's just a personal preference Blending that out. I have the baby monitor right here, so if James comes in to grab it after a shower, then it's probably what he'll do. If not, I don't care. Also, don't mind Dr. Disrespect right there. I'm being a creeper. My husband and I actually watch Dr. Disrespect in his streams. He's hilarious. 
And then I put some more on my nose. I put this concealer on in like stages because it dries really fast. I think I've said that in my last video that I have to do it in parts because it dries so fast. So if you do it all at once and then just bounce around, it'll blend, but you'll still have like the marks that you put. Cause on my forehead, I do like an X or like a V. And then after I would blend it, that V would still be there. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. All right, and then go on my forehead and then my chin. And then she goes back in the drawer. And then when I do my forehead, sometimes, or most, I think it's every time actually, I will take the bottom of my beauty blender that has just a little bit of foundation on it and then blend it out just so I don't have that really obvious circle of concealer. I have a hair. And I'll just blend it out, but you'll still have like that brightness. I usually use the concealer to like contour my face. I don't really use it to cover up anything. My under eye circles, yes. Girl will be struggling sometimes. All right, so now that that is all blended in, I'm gonna get my life together real fast. So I have been using this combination, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Finish Powder and then the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is the best setting powder. I don't care what anybody says. I That is a hill I will die on. And so first I blend, or not blend, I know how to talk, I swear trying to get all of the powder out since it's not like all one huge pan. It comes out of that H right there, which I mean is cool. At the same time, it's kind of annoying. All right. I'm going to open this mirror just so I actually can get a good look because this mirror is not behind. It's not going to be the best to help me. So any concealer that settles in those creases, I blend it back out. And then I take this brush, Royal and Langnickel, it's a contour brush. I honestly don't know where I got it. I think I may have gotten it at Walmart. I get some of the Hourglass powder and set my under eye. And then I get some more and put on my eyelid to set that concealer. So when I do put on a little bit of eyeshadow later, it doesn't look streaky. So it'll actually blend better. Do the other under eye and then the other eyelid and then with this brush I also take the powder and go in the places that crease the most I try to set those first however I mean I still crease it's like bound to happen I'm a very expressive person so my face is going to crease no matter what I do <laughs> And then after I do that, I take this powder brush. I'm pretty sure it's Real Techniques, yes. And I got this at Target. Oh my God, I think I've burped. So I take this, I dip it into this powder first, and then I dip it onto the hourglass and I tap off the excess, and then I just put it all over my face in the spots that I didn't get with the um, powder before. And then I just do that over and over again until my whole face is set. The reason why I do this one first is because it is, oh my God, it's like a pressed powder. It's not a loose powder. So if I did the loose powder, then the pressed powder, then the loose powder would just disappear. All right. Pretty sure my whole face is set now. Using the back of my finger to make sure there's not any like tackiness anywhere. See, I'm already creasing right here. But if you just make a lot of facial expressions, that's fine. Who cares? All right, I think that's good. I'll put a little more under my chin. 
My hair is so dirty right now. I actually was going to wash it today, but then I woke up at 11 because today was my day to sleep in. And then our neighbors had actually invited us over for their son's birthday party and we were going to go, but then I had started having like a cough and my throat was itchy and I was like, uh oh. And so we were going to go, but I told them, hey, I'm going to go get tested for COVID because honestly, you just never know. You really, you really just never know. And so I went and got tested at CVS, swabbed my nose, which wasn't that bad. And now here I am. And I was going to wash my hair today and I didn't do it. And I mean, it doesn't look bad, but she is dirty. A lot of dry shampoo is residing on my scalp. So I'm going to do my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate first. I actually use two things, three things actually, on my eyebrows. And one of those is the clear brow gel. And then I use a mirror up close to do it just to make sure I don't mess up. I waxed my eyebrows today and having freshly waxed eyebrows when you do your eyebrows is just so much easier. You don't have to worry about shaping it. And with the pomade, I just fill it in, try to fill in my brow as much as possible. I swear I have freaking bald spots in my eyebrows. It's not cool. Do the other one. And I'm not like super methodical when I do this. I just fill in, like I said. And this eyebrow that has that freaking bald spot right there. You probably can't see it because my camera is not the best, but it makes me so mad. I really don't understand. I feel like I can't ever get brow pot product to stay on there. It wipes right off. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. So I use this first, and then after the pomade, I go in with the brow definer. It's by Anastasia, again. I go in, and this is where I like shape it. So I get the shape that I want. And I just kind of outline it. The good thing about this product is that if you get some on the outside and you didn't mean to, you could easily just wipe it off. as good as it's gonna get. I try not to put too much product on this part of my eyebrows because I want it to have like that natural kind of like fade but if I don't achieve it it's fine. Will it bother me? Yes. But it's fine. So all done there and then I usually take the spoolie on the other end and brush out any product that is just chilling or shouldn't be there blend it all out and then after that take the clear brow gel right here and then I try to go in the up direction it definitely matters which way you put on your eyebrows because then if you're brushing in all types of different directions your brows are gonna look friggin insane thing. I need to get more of this soon. Alright, there we go. See that freaking bald spot? Oh, it makes me so mad. Okay, now 
is the eyeliner part that I am kind of scared to do. So Nikki Tutorials actually posted a TikTok the other day that somebody else had made a TikTok about. And it is a way to do your eyeliner if you have hooded eyelids. It's like an eyeliner hack. She didn't, it like wasn't her idea. A lot of people have been doing this for a while. Oh my God, where is my eyeliner? Hello? There it is. So I have, this is the best liquid eyeliner ever. Um, it is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. She no longer owns the company. It's KBD Beauty at Sephora. And it is in Trooper Black. Anybody who asks me which eyeliner I prefer or use, I always say this one. The best. I only got the mini because I don't usually use eyeliner that much. But it's the best in my opinion. I've tried the Stila one. Which, oh my god, I hate that one. It bleeds so much. And then I've tried the Rare Beauty one by Selena Gomez. That one's pretty good. But the felt tip is just too big. It's really big and really intimidating. I can't do it. Anyways, I so you're supposed to look straight forward and then draw it back down. And you're literally going to be drawing on your eyelid right here. And I am kind of nervous, but it's fine. So I'm gonna do this. The mirror's gonna be in the way, but that's the only way I could achieve this. Oh God. All right, I drew the line. Oh my God, this is scary. <laughs> I, am, I have never done this before. And it's like literally straight up. Okay, and then I'm gonna oh God, draw it back down. And then you have like that weird shape right there. And then you're supposed to leave that like the way it is, but connect it. Oh my God, it's so frightening. Literally giving me terrifying it doesn't help that I have coffee so my hands are like shaking <laughs> okay I mean it doesn't look bad I don't even know if I did it right and then oh this is too much right now I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great either. All right, that's the best I can do. I feel like if I do anything else, I'm gonna really mess it up. Oh my God. Why did I go straight up like that? I said I wasn't going to touch it, but I lied. Actually, that doesn't look bad. I don't usually do like a crazy wing. I just hate that I went straight up, but I actually kind of like that whole little vibe right there. All right, first eye is done. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was nerve wracking. Oh my God. Um. All right, now I'm going to do the other eye. Whatever. I 
is not bad. Oh my god, I forgot to put a little eyeshadow on. Oh well, who cares? It's fine. Everything's fine. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right, I got that line. Now I'm going to draw it back down. So good. And then kind of just draw that little triangle. I feel like I have to hold my breath every time I do this eyeliner, or just eyeliner in general, because I feel like I'm going to freak it up. This is going to be super messy. Okay. Okay. It's not that bad. It kind of looks a little crazy. If only if I didn't do it like straight up like that, it would probably look better. But hmm, it's not that bad. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Because if I go and if I do any more craziness, I'm gonna really mess it up. Because I just yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put a little bit of like bronzer on my eyelid because I really hate how flat my eyelids look. Wait, what is that? Okay, I'm just going to take some of this bronzer, put it on this blending brush, and just throw it in there. All right, same on the other side. Boom. Cool. We got it. Everything's fine. Now oh, it doesn't look so flat. And now I gotta lay this out. I think I might put on some lashes. I'm gonna use these. They're on sale at the next. They are the Eilor London Vegas Nay. I've worn these before. They were $1.67 at the next. I was like, steal. I'm gonna open it. And I'll obviously stop the video while I'm putting on these lashes because y'all really don't need to see me or stare at me putting on my lashes. I don't want to wake up my son. He is taking a nap right now. He was a mega grumpy. Alright, I'm just bending these so they're more flexible so they don't like, they're not stick straight. And then I'm going to cut them because literally nobody's ever lives that long. And then.
glue. That's good. Then I'm gonna put glue on this little match so it can dry while I'm doing other stuff. Set that down. Duo has the best lash glue. The only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It smells really funky. God, can I stop getting these emails? All right, so while that lash glue is drying, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And put a little bit of mascara on them. I like to take the excess off of the spoolie because sometimes it's just too much. And then later I will go in and put some on the bottom. It does look bad. It's a little. I might put some black eyeshadow on the bottom to like so my bottom eyelid doesn't you know what I'm talking about? Whatever. So, letting those eyelashes dry. Okay, now I'm gonna put some bronzer on. Honestly, this is the same that I've done in my previous video, so I'm just gonna stop it here, and then I'll come back when my lashes are on. Okay, the lashes are on. It took me a little longer than I wanted to because I got into a fight with this one. It would not stick, and I had to redo it again. And I also put on some black eyeshadow, and it looks a lot better, like it kind of flows, because if I just had eyeliner on the top, it would look insane. So I already put bronzer on, contoured my nose, and next we're going to do blush. This eyelash is a little bit longer than I want it to be. I'm going to have to cut it the next time I wear it. Obviously, I can't cut it right now. It's too late. Okay, my blush brush. I am going to use... The Makeup Revolution blush palette. Oh my god, it's bothering me. It's like jabbing my eyelid. And I'm going to use shade two right here. It looks like a bronzer, but I actually put it on yesterday and it's really pretty. I think some of my excess blush is on here too from using the Kylie blush. But I really like this stuff. And I put some on my nose. The little sun-kissed look. Oh. Stop. We love it. Alright. And next we're going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient 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 whatever lighting powder in the shade dim light this kind of makes gives your face like an all-over glow freaking love this stuff i love glowy makeup matte is just not my journey put that all over and then i'm gonna get highlighter jacqueline cosmetics in the shade iced beautimus if i can and that's what it looks like. I love it. And I'm just gonna throw that on my cheekbones. And the highest points of my face. 
my gnomes, and my cupid's bow. That's done. And now I need to do my inner corner and eyebrow highlight because I just have to have it. Doesn't no matter what my makeup looks like, I just, I'm gonna have it. Okay, and I'm gonna go with the very dirty Jaclyn Hill palette. It's well loved. And then this shade right here, I think it's called In Light. I don't know. And then I'm gonna go in with this brow brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection from Morphe and go right under my arch. And then I take some and go right here and just go straight across my brow, just on that part. Do the same thing over here. And then I, usually, I sometimes take my finger and like blend it out so it like doesn't stop. You know what I'm saying? Then I take this inner corner highlight brush. This is specifically what this brush is for. Take the same shade. Put it on my inner corner. Oh my gosh, I need to put mascara on my lower lash line. I almost forgot. And then... There we go. I need a little more. Sometimes I go a little crazy with this stuff because I just love the way it makes my eyes look. And then I take some more Put it on the tip of my nose because I think it looks cute. And then I need to put some mascara on my lower lash line. Brushing off the excess. So I don't look like a maniac. to wait for that to dry and then I want to put white eyeliner on my um, waterline so my eyes look more like open James is asking me if I'm done with the video so we can come get the baby monitor but it's fine Everything's fine. All right. Obviously try to do this before you do your lower lash line. Don't be like me. I'm just a mess. And then this is the NYX or NYX retractable eyeliner. Obviously in the shade white. I love using this stuff, especially to put on my waterline because don't you see how it just makes you look more awake, more vibrant, more present? <laughs> All right, so we got the highlighter. I got everything. Am I forgetting something? I know I need to do setting spray and whatnot. Bro, this eyelash is bothering me. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and this stuff is kind of risky. Risky business. I'm gonna make sure my mascara on my lower lash line is dry all the way because this stuff is literally oil in a bottle. All right, I'm just gonna block my eye. Don't wanna risk it, I work too hard. Cool. And then I'm going to put this setting spray on and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. And you can also use this as a primer. You can put this on before your makeup and after, but I just do it after because I already have a primer that I like to use. And then hold it a little bit away.
tight. I like that setting spray because it dries fast too. Like it's not crazy moist. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. It's just some clear lip gloss. It's from that Friends collection, Rachel. Uh, all right, and that is it. My dirty hair. I tried my best. All right. I think it looks pretty good. You know, like the eyeliner hack. It's okay. I probably wouldn't do it again because I really, it's not like a huge problem for me. I do have hooded eyelids, but it's really not that big of a deal to me, but it was kind of scary, but it does look good. I think I like the cool right there. It's like a triangle stops and then goes back down. It's cool, but yeah, I probably wouldn't do it again, but this is it. Hope you like my video. I'm glad it's not as long as my last ones. Okay, bye.